On February 27th, 2022, three days after Russia's initial invasion of Ukraine, Vladimir Putin ordered his defense minister to put Russia's nuclear deterrent forces on high alert, making their nuclear arsenal combat ready. This move sparked the beginning of a series of threats made by Russia, each of which escalating the risk of nuclear conflict to levels not seen since the Cold War. But is Russia really likely to use nuclear weapons? And to what extent could this develop into outright nuclear war? Nuclear war is a military conflict whereby one or more entities deploy nuclear weapons with the intent on causing mass destruction. There has only ever been one recorded case study of nuclear war in 1945 when the United States detonated two nuclear bombs on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Although this is a lone case study, there have however been many occasions when nuclear war was narrowly prevented by small margins. The Cuban Missile Crisis is a prime example of this and is universally agreed on that this period is the closest the world has come to full-scale nuclear Armageddon. One notable moment occurred on October 27, 1962, where a Soviet B-59 submarine began taking fire from a US Navy fleet above. Unbeknownst to the US Navy destroyers, the Soviet submarine was carrying nuclear-tipped missiles that were ready to be fired at the US fleet. With the submarine's air conditioning no longer working and radio communications not being received, tensions were rising amongst the crew. The captain, unclear if war had already broken out above water, wanted to fire the nuclear missile, but authorization to do this required a unanimous agreement amongst the three senior officers of the submarine. Thankfully, the second in command, Vasily Arkhipov, persuaded the captain to hold off the attack and wait for communications from Moscow. This brave move had averted nuclear war and the mutually assured destruction that would have been destined to follow. Many international treaties have attempted to contain the spread of nuclear weapons in aim of avoiding such situations from occurring. The Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons, signed in July of 1968, is the most notable of these with the purpose of preventing the spread of nuclear weapons across the globe. Currently, however, nine countries still own nuclear weapons, consisting of the United States, Russia, the United Kingdom, France, China, Israel, India, Pakistan, and North Korea. In total, these countries own around 13,000 individual warheads, according to the Arms Control Association, ranging in size from larger warheads to smaller, low-yield non-strategic missiles. The Soviet Union first developed nuclear weapons in the late 1940s and was the second nation to do so after the United States. Currently, Russia has one of the largest nuclear military stockpiles, comprising of nearly 6,000 nuclear warheads. So just how likely is Russia to use nuclear weapons? Reports suggest that the invasion of Ukraine is not going the way Putin anticipated. With failed attempts to take the capital, Russian troops have receded to more south and easterly regions. With Sweden and Finland making an attempt to join NATO, Putin's so-called peacekeeping operations have potentially led to the expansion of the treaty he wished to diminish. The war has persisted for over three months now, and very much to the detriment of Russian forces. Estimates widely vary, but as of May, some suggest that over 15,000 Russian soldiers have been killed, with over 1,000 tanks destroyed, representing nearly 10% of Russia's total inventory. With an exceeding amount of military support from the US and NATO, including the US Senate approving a $40 billion aid package for Ukraine, Russian forces will be facing a much greater resistance in the coming weeks. It is clear that Putin cannot wage this war indefinitely without imposing further economic and social hardship on Russia. But from the jaws of defeat, he does have one card left to play. This is the use of non-strategic nuclear weapons. Currently, Russian nuclear stockpiles include between 1 to 2,000 non-strategic nuclear weapons. These weapons are generally lower yield and have shorter ranges that might be used to attack troops or military facilities. These nuclear weapons have historically remained lower profile compared to their larger yield counterparts due to the relatively smaller diameter of destruction they would cause. Nevertheless, deployment of these weapons to key military targets around Ukraine could devastate Ukraine's progress that has been made over the last few months. Ukrainian military supply routes coming from Poland could be targeted in an attempt to isolate Ukraine from the rest of Europe as Russia seek to make up for lost ground. 
It is unclear what the US and NATO response would be in this situation. Ukraine is not part of NATO, meaning that no other country is committed to its nuclear defense. A NATO nuclear retaliation, therefore, is unlikely, as such a response would pose a high risk of triggering full-scale nuclear war. As we have seen from past examples, the fog of war can lead to a concerning situation rapidly escalate into something far worse. If, for example, a Russian nuclear attack on a western Ukrainian city were to spill over to a NATO ally, it could trigger Article 5, dragging NATO into the conflict. Putin has previously stated that he acknowledges the overarching size of NATO's military, but reminded the world that Russia is a nuclear nation. For the sake of Europe, let's hope that this situation does not arise. But with Russia becoming exceedingly desperate in this war, Putin may be tempted to take the nuclear option. As the historical essayist Noam Chomsky once said, as long as nuclear weapons exist, the chances of the survival of the human species are quite slight. Thank you for watching Olive Stripe Productions. If you found this video educational or interesting, feel free to like the video and share it with your friends. To check out more future content on a wide range of exciting and relevant topics, please subscribe to our channel.